Welcome to It Starts With Courage podcast with Kat and Jen. What is it? It's everything. Everything you want in life starts with courage. Hello, Jen. What's up, Kat? Nothing but trying to live this expansive ass life. I'm going to start again. <laughs> Episode 40. <laughs> Just a little bit of pre-podcast funnies. Oh, gosh. I bet uh, you guys are wondering what that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw on Facebook yesterday, it was like, where can I apply for gas stamps? Oh, gosh, please. It's, instead of food stamps, gas stamps. I was standing at the, um, it's, it's funny to me that I say gas now, because in England, we always call it petrol. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the petrol station. Now I'm saying gas instead of petrol. But anyway, I was at the petrol station. And when I first came here, I remember gas, petrol, was at 84 cents. And that's for the gallon. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe about a month ago, my sister's husband, they live, obviously they still live in England. And he said per liter, it was at close to four pounds, I think. It was something crazy like that. Well, so, you're gonna you're gonna have to do some quick okay. conversion math for us how in the many United liters States. In a gallon. Four. Okay. But I don't know how much a pound is. Right. So a pound is a dollar twenty-five cents. That's how much a pound is. A dollar twenty-five cents. So, so it's five dollars a liter? Basically. So it's twenty dollars a gallon? Basically. How? How do you live? Because those are the prices. Those have always been the prices. In England? Yeah. Okay. When I, I remember being in. People just ride their bikes? No. Or like. Surprisingly, people drive. Obviously, England is not as big. I think England is the size of Texas. So if you can drive from the bottom of Texas to the top of Texas, it takes you, what, like nine, ten hours? That's how long it will take you to get from the bottom of England, or at least from London, all the way to Scotland. Yeah, but I mean, you still have to like drive day to day, like. But you're not driving anywhere near as far, and people drive better, so you're not stuck in traffic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say that because Louisiana drivers. Oh, I was suck. I was throwing a fit the other day. I had to drive up to Shreveport for mm-hmm. you guys listening. That's like four hours from here, and I got on the interstate and I got on the way the Waze app, and it was like, get off here, go down. It was like everywhere it told me to go to avoid the traffic was more traffic. traffic. And it was like I had left my house and it was 45 minutes and I still was in Baton Rouge. I texted my husband and I was like, I hate Baton Rouge traffic. I'm about to lose it. Three times last week I was driving behind somebody who suddenly slowed down for no reason. They, They ran out of gas probably. They were texting. Oh yeah, maybe about gas prices, but they yeah. <laughs> well, that's this is a good uh, start to the what I wanted to talk about today. Uh-huh. It's just um, I don't know, like the I know everybody kind of has their morning routine, and like for me, we talked about this before, just getting up a little bit early to like do your to do your thing, what whatever that is. Yeah, and workout. yeah, I know yours is workout. Mine, I like to sit on the couch and drink some coffee and watch the news. <sighs> the news lately has been terrible. Why? You, you agree? I, to be honest with you, I'm not even going to lie, guys. Um, I don't care. You're not, not a citizen. Not that I don't <laughs> care, but like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is the news rarely has anything good to say. Yeah, it it rarely does. And that's what we're, that's what we're kind of, talking about today is just that like I feel over the last couple weeks it's just not just watching the news but it's in every aspect of what I do on a daily basis like I go to the office what I see on social media every know everybody knows I'm a real estate agent so I go to the office and we have a meeting and we have lenders coming in yesterday interest rates hit 6.18% Mm. you know last year at this time we were in the twos which is nuts. Which is insane. And it's just like, I think the government, like, from what I've 
from what I've heard is that when we when we do hit and in go into a recession, one of the things that the government does is they lower interest rates yeah. to help us pull out of a recession. But like when the interest rate is, is zero, you know, like you can't go lower than that. And right. so I think they're going up. Um, it's slowing the housing market, which is probably needed to happen a little bit so I that the inventory so. could like get on on back on track and we can get a little bit more balanced market. But it's just like, you know, everybody in the industry is just like, oh my gosh, like this is so bad. Interest rates are so high. And then I turn around and go talk to friends or people and they're like, oh my God, did you see the gas prices? And then, you know, you, you go out to eat and it's like, really dude? I remember like, the first time I think when I noticed that change was a Chick-fil-A drive through Oh, how I miss Chick-fil-A right now. <laughs> um, and I went and like, you know, when they say the price of your food, you just yeah. think, I mean, is, is there what? something wrong? Did you mess that up? I didn't order mm-hmm. those extra fries. Mm-hmm. Weekly grocery shopping budgets have just gone through the roof. Through the roof. Things are expensive. Life is they expensive are. right they now. They are. They are. And... Everybody is feeling it. Everybody's feeling it, you know, when they go to do anything. If mm-hmm. you go shopping in the grocery store or you go to eat or you go to fill up your gas tank. If I my car got hit with like a boulder today and I had to go see about getting a new windshield and that's a thousand dollars for a new windshield. A thousand, so, I mean, a <laughs> thousand dollars because you know, all these cars have all this technology you need to open a and, window, the, Jen, and, and the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I just wanted to encourage everybody just to, you know, if you, if, if what you put in is what you're going to get out. Mm. So, if you're watching the news and it puts you in a bad mood or it's just negative, negative, and I get turn it off. Yeah. If you're around people that are just constantly talking about how the the world is ending, we're going to war, blah, 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 like whatever, like turn it off, Mm -hmm. like step away and just focus on on you and your job because we all know what we need to do to be successful, even in a hard time, right? And so if gas prices and everything is a little higher, like- Figure out a way. We've we've done an episode on like side hustles or little mm-hmm. extra things that you can make money. Yeah, but like or even we, things we, you can cut down on in order. Yeah, to- I thought we. I, th- I was thinking we need to do an episode about like top ten ways to like save. cut your budget or yes. save money. Uh, That's a good I one. Don't know, Coming up soon. I don't know ten ways, but we'll figure it out. Oh, I can come up with ten ways. <laughs> um, but I just like I think we all need to like snap out of it and have like just a mind shift of yeah. what we're going to allow in and what we're going to do about it because yeah. we are people of resources yeah. and you have time. You can think creatively to like make up some of the distance, yeah. right? Like um, by saying snap out of it, this is not to say obviously or to, we're not, not acknowledging that times can be especially hard for some people, especially with large families or you're a caregiver, all of that. I guess it's, as Jen said, it's being resourceful. Yes. Sometimes when you're faced with the problem, I always like to go to this little diagram that lives in my head. It's, there's a problem. Is there something you can do about it? No. Then try not to worry as much. If you can, then do don't it. worry because you can do something about it. Um, and just thinking about that, like talking on food, my sisters, my mother used to have a huge garden. She used to always be in the garden, growing vegetables, cucumbers, potatoes, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, two of my siblings, is it three now, have their own gardens. And around this time is a time lately at home, we've just been thinking, well, is it time to go and invest in some seeds? Do you know how to grow tomatoes, cabbage, things That's that you tomatoes could, for tomatoes. you Americans, <laughs> for you Americans, it's tomatoes, <laughs> you know, just like, uh, I've started looking into floating gardens, like those little patches, things that, I mean, if a lot of people will say eating healthy is expensive, but if you can find a couple of seeds, keep them in store, not saying prepare for doomsday, but 
I watch Doomsday Preppers. Well, that's coming up too because uh, they're saying there's going to be a food shortage. So, so things like that. Let's start learning to make <laughs> bread. <laughs> Can you make bread? But for real though, those are things that I look into. Things that I watch out for in times like this. Yeah. So I and you're right. Like by saying snap out of it. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just trying to get your mind right. It's just like going back to sports, right? Like overcoming adversity not taking it laying down like we're yeah. not like just going to be like oh we're not going to do anything we we can't do anything about it we mm-hmm. can adjust our lifestyle a little bit but like we need to figure out a way to still make things happen yeah and it's that saying that Jen butchered and everyone was really upset about all the men were upset about that <laughs> tough times not just <laughs> don't only make tough men they make tough people too Women. Yes, women and men. So I think we're just maybe at that time, that year, that decade where this will be a time we'll look back on 10 years ago and talk about how things went like this. People lost investments. All of this happened. Yeah, like people are losing a lot of money in the stock market. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be a lot of people right now that are going to have great years. Yeah. They're going to have... Um, they're going to make the sales, they're going to get promotions, mm-hmm. they're going to do, they're, they're going to do their thing and they're going to have great years. And so I guess what I'm just trying to say is like, are you going to make it in your, make it in your mind mm-hmm. that you're going to block out all the noise and not use that as an excuse right? and just, you know, you fall no into the conversation. Mm-hmm. You just fall into the conversation of like, Oh my God, it took, it cost me $125 to fill up my gas tank. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. yeah, it hurts. But what journeys can you cut down on? Yeah. What, how are we going to adjust and what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. Can, is there something we can add? Can I do something on the side? Drive Uber, babysit, yes. clean an Airbnb, whatever it may be that to can, make a little yes. extra money to offset the cost of groceries. Mm-hmm gas you know eat at home more often Often. walk to the store now this is one thing i know in louisiana we don't we don't do we We don't don't. do that if you tell people right now to walk to the store i'm gonna slap you it's amazing how many people do not walk anywhere do you you will you will melt on this it is 110 degrees outside but here's what i learned okay if you always like yeah it's 110 degrees outside think about people i watched most difficult journeys to school and it was in ethiopia one of the you know some of the hottest places in the world and initially on day one just like today today i was working outside in the morning no yesterday initially i was dying i felt like i was dying i increased my water intake today was a better day I felt like I was dying a little, but I didn't die as much as yesterday. (laughs) So be built to adapt. It's hot outside, but the more you do it, guess what? Your body's also going to get used to it. There are people who live in extreme temperatures all the time. We can't always use weather as an excuse. Get a nice umbrella. Get a fan. I I like the attitude. (laughs) (laughs) I'm struggling on the execution of that. That would be one of the last things. Walk to the store because if I go to the store and have a lot of stuff, guess what? I got to carry all that stuff. Will you get your exercise in that you can cut that gym membership? (laughs) Look at that. I just saved you gas and I saved your subscription. (laughs) And you killed us because of heat exhaustion. Take your water with you. Build a well. Oh my gosh, Kat. Well, anyway, uh, just just some words of encouragement for you guys. Like, yes, things are tough for everybody, um, but we got this. Yeah, we are resourceful. We will make it happen. You can still have a good year. You can still reach your goals. You just may have to pivot a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, you may have to do it in a different way. Yeah. But if you're determined to do it, you will find a way. And just, um watch the the energy that you have and the um commentary from the news or the radio or friends or family that just is putting negative 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 yeah. in your ears and just move forward and just say I don't care what's happening um I, I think 
back in, I started in real estate in 2007 and the biggest recession was like in 2008. I had no idea. I had no idea. I didn't listen to the news back then. Mm -hmm. I just knew I started like in real estate. I got into real estate. Nobody told me it was a bad time to get into real estate. And I just put my head down and just did it. Yeah. But if I would have sat around and watched a bunch of news or or listened to a bunch of people, it could have put me on a whole different path. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's kind of like a... For a sports, let me give you a sports right. analogy. It's like you just don't know what you don't know. Sometimes yes. sometimes the freshmen on the team, if you're going into a big game and you, you've been there before and you know what it is, like you and you know and you're nervous because you know what's coming, but the freshmen, they don't know yep. what they don't they know. Just so they just in go that in. all that they have. Yep. They just go in and they just do it because they don't know to be scared. Yeah. So – Don't be scared. Um, Figure out a way to reach your goals. Don't give up on your goals Mm -hmm. just because everybody's telling you that it's a bad year or a bad time. Mm -hmm. Um, We're in to adapt. Yeah. Pivot and crush it. Peace. Thanks for listening to this episode of It Starts With Courage podcast with Kat and Jen. If you like this episode of the podcast, visit our website, iswcpodcast.com for show notes and other cool things.